<laughs> Greetings and welcome to Flavorful Eats. Joining me today is Gita Ojayanti. Mm -hmm. To everybody from Curry Fusion, am I right? Yes. And Gita has been born and brought up in Malaysia, so she's bringing us a lot of Malaysian influence today. Yes, definitely. Thank you. Welcome. Thank, thank you for uh, inviting me, Hamsha. Today we have a fully fledged meal. You got an appetizer, main course, yes. and dessert. Yes. So our appetizer is also very interesting, a very uh, spicy kind of yes. fruit salad, which you call? We call rojak buah, which uh. is fruit salad. We get started right away. You want to tell us what you're using in your glutinous rice? Uh, dessert. Yeah, sure. So um, first, um, I have the glutinous rice flour, mm -hmm. two cups, and then this is very traditional uh, palm sugar. Mm -hmm. um, it usually come like, in block, so yes. I had to like cut it. Um, and then I have all-purpose flour, mm -hmm. two tablespoon, and then some salt mm -hmm. to taste. And then I have um, two water. cups of water and additional if I need it. All right. And this is the pandan paste we use. Um, there's a lot in Malaysia and this is the screw mm. pine leaf which is the pandan leaf that right. you can get in Malaysia any groceries any Asian groceries here you can find in the frozen aisle so and this is interesting that Gita actually this is now you will never tell it has been frozen washed and re <laughs> uh, brought back to life yes <laughs> so, so you just needed to dry overnight so it will be very fresh in the yes morning. it looks very fresh i i could never tell that this was frozen <laughs> and you still can smell it which yes, is like even better which is like really great yes. and then i have coconut and sometimes you can find fresh pandan leaves too so um yeah first i'm going to um, put some salt in this coconut um, you don't have to steam this because you can either use a frozen coconut, but you need to thaw the coconut right. first. You're talking about or fresh can, coconut. Yeah, or you can just use like a store-bought right. coconut. So you you basically brought powdered coconut. Yes. So or basically, desiccated it's, coconut. Yeah, desiccated coconut. Yes. So it's really it's dry. And yeah, it's, it's dry, yeah. and you know it's very good because you're going to be boiling the right. balls anyway. So, and then you just put some salt. I'm just gonna, and then you just mix it a little bit. If you want to steam this, mm -hmm. you can actually put a knot on on this. Oh, okay. And um, use that as a steaming device. Yes, and then you can just steam it together with this pen and leaf to get more fragrance. Yeah, and more flavor too. Yep, so you can just leave it. Oh, okay. I usually will leave it like that. Uh -huh. It doesn't matter, so that's that. And then now I'm going to mix the flour mm -hmm. into the bowl, which is the glutinous rice flour. And then I have the all-purpose flour, two cup, two tablespoon. So you have two cups of flour to two tablespoons yes. of all-purpose. Yes, and then purpose. some salt. And then you just mix it together. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the pandan paste in the water. You don't really need a lot because it's going to it's literally going to mix it and it will turn green and the fragrance of this water will turn into pandan fragrance. Some people, they will actually grind this and make a oh, juice out of it. So okay. you can do that. that too. Okay. If you kind of if like... If you don't have this, then yes. do that. Okay. And they also actually um, sell the ready-made um, pandan juice in the store. Oh, they do? It came in the can. Okay. So you can either get that. I like to either use this or fresh. Right, yeah. That's my, so that's I that. feel like this one has got some coloring added to it. Yes, to make so it more green. And you need to add this water into this um, flour mixture. Mm -hmm. Quickly. Yeah, the reason why I put uh, two tablespoons of um, all-purpose flour, mm -hmm. it's because it won't be super gooey. Oh, oh. Because glutinous okay. rice is very... Um, yes, but with that being said, if somebody needs to be gluten free, can they omit the um, all purpose flour? Yes, they okay. can. You can. So um, you can make it uh, gluten free? Yes, uh, you can put rice flour instead. Well, that's. Yes. Yes, and I think rice flour will make it a little more crunchy. Yes, <laughs> you can put rice flour, that's fine. So an alternative will be two tablespoons of rice flour instead of two tablespoons of all purpose flour. Yes, all purpose, all -purpose flour. flour, yeah. Usually okay. I'll, I'll, I like to use my hand. Yeah, go ahead, <laughs> that's the best tool. So you don't want it a batter, right? No, I need to perform um, a nice unsticky dough. Dough. Like a ball. Mm -hmm. um, you will see in a while, it won't stick in my hand anymore. 
that's that's the consistency that I I'm looking for. Um, I got this. This is very traditional snack in Malaysia. Okay. Um, every day after work or after school, my dad will buy this for us. Oh. And um, you know we have like a street market mm -hmm. um, in the evening that sells all kind of snacks. Oh. So this is very famous in Malaysia. So you um, had to learn it so you would be yes, able to have my, it here. Yes, my and mom. And your children experience the same experiences. Yes, my, my husband likes it. It looks like this particular flour took only one cup. It looks like, for me, it looks like it's ready. Is yeah, it, ready? it is. So I just want to perform. I'm very neat Make when it comes to... <laughs> it's like just one cup of water. Yes. You didn't need more than a cup. Nope. So you can, you know, just rest for a couple of minutes. Are you going to rest it for a little bit? Yep, rest for a couple of minutes, like five, ten minutes. Uh -huh. And then we need to heat up the uh, water. hot water. Okay. Yeah. And uh, now you're going to be doing, you put the water on to boil. So we're waiting for this to heat. Yep. Do you cover it when you... Um, nope. No? We just leave it to boil uh, it. And it just, when it rises, yes. it's ready. Okay, so good to know. So I'm just going to wait for the uh, water to boil. And I have pine and leaf uh, I see in the that, water yes. I see the pine. Because I want to yeah. get extra fragrance. Flavor. Yeah. And so I'm going to make the ball. So mm -hmm. I'm just going to take some dough. Can I help you make some balls Sure. Yep. Okay. Um, you know, you can make it big or medium size or small size. Yeah, but it's right now we're making about this size, correct? Yeah. Okay. So then... So I make this and you can do that. Yeah. So this is this is what I will make. Like right. it's a small mm -hmm. round doll mm -hmm. and then, um, you know... You flatten the disc, then you make a little hole in the middle. Yep. And then you're going to be putting some of that... Yes, um, palm sugar. Palm sugar. And, um, in the middle. Okay. It depends. If you put too much of stuffing, then yeah. yes, it will definitely come out. So then you just close, make it roll it so in nobody your knows that it's um that's uh, a secret inside yeah <laughs> nobody knows that <laughs> so when you once you've done this this uh -huh. is how it looks like right so it's going to melt really quickly in your hand because it's very it's right. glutinous it's rice flour. so you just place it um in the plate yeah, right and um you can start making more and looks like the water is almost mm -hmm. boiling the f my favorite part is to boil this balls <laughs> and see how it rises yes right? my son loved to make this with me because he loved when it rise up mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like mommy it's floating it's floating <laughs> so you know it's ready when it floats <laughs> yes so i have the first one i think this is going to open because it's too um jiggly already oh it's okay because we're going to cover it with the coconut, coconut right Do. Okay. So you're going to see it's going to boil, it's going to come up like, I'm just using this because I don't want to burn my mm -hmm. finger. <laughs> oh, Sorry, touched. this comes with the experience where I'm just putting it in the water. Like I know it's not going to burn my fingers because I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you're a pro cook. No, I, I, <laughs> this is what we do every day, right? Yeah. I mean, um, so now we're going to wait for it to float. Float. Okay. Shall I take it out? Yes. So it's come up, up, up all together? Um, no, nope, just one by one you can take it because I think the, the rest is still trying to cook. So you, it must be absolutely floating on the top, right? Yeah, that yeah, one that you can ready. take, yeah. And then you just, so the sugar, the palm sugar inside will be like melted. It's, it's yes. already melted. Yes, I can see, I mean, I can, I can smell this, my word. Yes, so usually I, I love to do this with my mom. She mm -hmm. will be doing all this uh, balls and I'll be doing the this. The coconut, ah. the coconut part. So then it will go inside my mouth immediately. <laughs> you, eat it, you eat it hot? Yes, oh I like wow. I like hot because I just like it. Um, you can eat certainly eat like uh, definitely not cold because yeah. you want to taste the food like the um, oh. the flavor. So I would definitely advise to eat this when it's warm. Next, buah, <laughs> buah. It's fruit. Right. It's, it's a fruit Malaysian, fruit. it's a Basa Melayu word. Fruit is buah. Okay. So right. roja means mix. Mix fruit. Yeah. Okay, so you're starting off with ikama. Yes. So this for those who don't know what ikama is, that's what it is. Yep, this is... Um, it's a root. It's a root. It's very healthy. Yes, very It's good. very... Um, when you put it inside your mouth, it's very watery. Yes. <laughs> but with that, you're starting to cut it and clean it, right? Um, you can eat this definitely raw. Yes. Or you can definitely cook this if you want. I like to eat this raw with tofu. Okay. So in Malaysia, we call tau sumbat, which is stuffed 
uh, tofu. Uh -huh, okay. So, so that's what we do. So we put cucumber in the middle and hikama, um, and then we dip it with the Thai sweet sauce. Oh, it it's very very good. But you need to fry the tofu, deep fry the tofu, okay. cut it into triangle, and then make oh, a. Oh, that looks so pretty. Yes. So instead of deep frying, if somebody has you can a uh, air fryer, you can in 15 yes. minutes you got nice deep frying looking tofu yes. without the deep frying. Definitely. It tastes very good too. Yep. Not rubbery like other things. No. <laughs> so are you going to use the whole thing or are you just going to use quarter? Or? So you you want to um, cut this into julienne. Julienne. Yep. Okay, you're julienning it. Yep. Um, okay. So usually I'll, my version of cutting is this way, so mm -hmm. I, it's easy for me to julienne later. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be very thick. You don't want to be too thin. You want to have that crunchy bite. Right. And it's so, so healthy for you and it's so much less calories. Yes. And uh, actually, I, you know, I use that and it's, I really enjoy it. Yes, so. absolutely. Mm -hmm. So what I will do, you can either cut in the middle. I like to cut in the middle so mm -hmm. that it will be not super long. Right. Um, it will be just perfect um, length for me. Oh, so you just okay. chill in like that. Uh -huh. Yes, as you can tell, Gita has been um, nicely uh, making everything really nice and small for this particular dish. So she's been using some uh, she bought canned pineapple only because her system doesn't accept pineapple. <laughs> Each of us are individuals. Yes. So she says she has an itchy tongue. And this is, believe it or not, is a mango. Yes. It's nicely and... Uh, Again, she's Cut very good in cubes. chopping it up <laughs> and getting very, very small like that. <laughs> and then here it's cucumber, regular yes. cucumber. I just peel some of the skin. I just, you know, leave some of the skin in the cucumber because the skin definitely good for you. Yes, especially if you bought, uh, if you got English cucumber, you are okay to use the skin. Yes. So this is what, this is the interesting things that are going into our appetizer for today yes correct and um, with that you're making a sauce you said right yes and the sauce is going to have is this brown sugar yes that is light brown sugar light brown sugar with a little bit of um, chocolate yeah I know what you're thinking Dark why chocolate. is it dessert <laughs> uh, why isn't it dessert we'll see why because <laughs> we're adding some sriracha sauce am I right yes correct so that is a uh, very chilly sriracha sauce and tamarind and this one is tamarind concentrate yes and this is uh, it looks like two tablespoons yes two tablespoon and this is half a table uh, half a cup half a cup this of is a one fourth cup so this is a quarter cup this is a half a cup and these are two tablespoons each yes. and then we have sesame seeds and peanuts peanuts for, garnish. for garnishing in the end you just can uh, beware some people are um, allergic to sesame seeds and, and uh, peanuts so find out your guests yes. and uh, you know prepare it accordingly yes. all of this is just guidelines yes and you also can replace um, hikama with carrots yes. if you like to um, or any kind of fruits um, even you can put um, zucchini. Okay. Yes. yes you yes. can eat raw zucchini. Yes. So, so yeah. So now this is ready. This uh -huh. is how I cut my hikama. Hikama. Okay. All right. <coughs> this is probably hot already. In the pan, what I'm going to put, I'm going to put all this ingredient except the garnish. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and put the brown sugar. Chocolate, chocolate. chip. Dark chocolate chip. It has to be dark. Yes, it okay. has to be dark chocolate chip. If you don't, if you can't find dark chocolate chip, you uh -huh. can go for cocoa powder. Okay. Oh, yeah. Chocolate is always the best mm -hmm. thing. And then this is the tamarind. Tamarind paste. Paste. Any particular brand you like using? Um, here? No, any kind. I usually will get that from any Indian store. Right. And then some sriracha. And just like this, the dishes more or less come together. Yep. And you set. And you'll go for a little bit of salt here. Oh yes, yeah. salt brings up the taste of anything sweet anyway. Yeah. Right. So now this is all set. Yes, you can see the sauce yes. is ready. So. So what do you do now? You have to uh, cool this sauce. Okay. So ready. you can get going, and we can get the school. So in a bowl, what we're gonna do? We're gonna mix all this ingredient in the big bowl, mm -hmm. and hikama go f goes in. Mm -hmm. So basically anything you can eat raw is okay to yes. use. That's what you were trying to tell us. And right? I have pineapple. Mm -hmm. Again, you can use the fresh pineapple. I'm allergic to, so I'm not. And you, in goes cucumbers and mango. 
you can you can also use peach or nectarine but make sure it's not ripe and, we're and if you want to have some color you can add some cherries right yes and we're going to add a little bit of water to this one yeah yeah so that will definitely cool it down yes so you added like two tablespoons of water yes two tablespoons you don't want to be too too, too runny. runny okay um, so you're making like a fondue yes <laughs> <laughs> doesn't smell too spicy. I think the nope. chocolate and everything else just yes. um, Balance up. balances it all out. Yes. Right. So uh, this is the sauce consistency, yes. correct? Yes, correct. And that's correct, right? Yes. Okay. So we just pour it over? You can pour it over. Okay. Oh, man. For those chocolate lovers, this is yummy. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> don't be shy with the, uh, with the sauce. Oh, don't be shy? No, don't be shy. You Why? have to get it all in uh, see, the I'm, see what I'm doing? I'm even getting it out of the food like this. You can just eat this for dinner, lunch, breakfast, anytime you feel hungry. Whatever that you can find in the fridge. Just you put can it grab together. it, chop it, jelly in it, just get all these ingredients and then just make a sauce. So, so now you can't see any more colorful fruits. Fruit, yes, all all brown. you can see it's brown, but it's definitely going to taste awesome. So we are now um, uh, getting on to our main course. We've yes. finished with our dessert, we finished with our uh, appetizer. Yes. So we're doing our main course, and the main course you're serving with rice. Yes, correct. So we are showing everybody how we cook rice. Yes, so yes. And you have already washed one yes. cup of rice. Wash right? and drained. That's right. So after it's washed, we're putting it in a pot, and to that we're adding two cups of water. Yes. So we work with ratio one is to two, and this looks like a long grain basmati rice. Yes. So can you put the water, some of yep. the water in here? Um, and this is two cup of water. Yeah, so I just clean up this thing. And uh, between 15 and 20 minutes, this rice will be done. Yes. And um, while that is cooking, we can this. move on there to my tofu. Yes, go ahead. And two cup of water. Mm -hmm. And I like to put cumin seeds in my ah, rice. Right, you're making jeera rice. Yes. So it's like a teaspoon of yeah, jeera, right? Yeah, a teaspoon right? and then a little bit of salt, just okay. to flavor it. Mm -hmm. Again, all optional. Yes. And but yes, it definitely gives it a different flavor. Yes. Yeah. So you're now going to be working with your sambal? Yes. So for, for the sambal, I have um, dried chili. Mm -hmm. So it's a handful, so this is my hand. <laughs> so I put this much. And then into that, you need to blend together with uh, four to five garlic cloves. Close. Um, and then just a little bit of oil. And to help to so blend smoothly, mm -hmm. you can just add a little bit of water. Okay. That is for the blend. So after the blend, this is what I got. So the magic of TV, you got it done already. Yes. So now I have to uh, cut the tofu. tofu because I'm going to pan fry it, uh, the tofu. So while that is... Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put some oil in it. Just enough oil to fry the um, tofu. So I washed the tofu and mm -hmm. I drained it. So I usually will cut this way. Yes, it's very easy. You don't have to stress yourself mm. when you're cooking. You need to enjoy while, while you're cooking. Absolutely. <laughs> so you can cut any ways that you yeah. want. I like... Um, little squares, um, okay. like bite size, because uh -huh. uh -huh. it's easy um, for the, ki especially for the kids. Yeah. Um, my son loves tofu, so I usually cut this way, and then I make another cube. So then you have it. Mm -hmm. Nice size for sure. Just transfer to a plate. You can actually um, put some turmeric powder in it mm -hmm. and some salt to fry it. But I'm keeping an eye on the rice because I don't want it to boil over. <laughs> Thank you for that. And, and the looks, oil like looks like the it's oil ready. is already. So I can go ahead and mm -hmm. put the. Ooh, that's very hot. Yeah, because you got the induction stove, remember? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it cooks like a couple of minutes? Yes, a okay. couple of minutes until golden brown. Golden brown. And So mm -hmm. you can use the same pan, just add a little bit of oil. Mm -hmm. A little more oil. Yep. <laughs> okay. Just a little bit. Uh -huh. And then we're going to toss the onion. onion. This is one whole onion. Okay. I jelly in it. 
and I just this this uh, fried tofu will come out mm -hmm. once you put the sambal in. Mm -hmm. So you just stir fry until it turns golden brown. So Gita, we got one more dish we're doing, right? Yes, it is uh, kale stir fry with coconut. Okay, so. It looks like our rice is cooked. Oh, perfect. Does it look like it's cooked? Yes, it is. Um, awesome. Shall we just mix it a little bit? Yes, please. See? That's, it's that's all, perfect. It's all separated and everything, right? Yes. And it's, uh, you got your jeera nicely. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Very nice. Okay. Thank you very much. So while that's going, uh, you got that one going. And um, this I'm onion is, off. yep, and this onion is almost brown and what I'm going to do, I'm going to put all my ginger garlic paste mm -hmm. and you need to fry this until um, until like for about like one minute just to make sure that the ginger garlic paste cook. Mm -hmm. You don't want to smell or taste the raw. Yes, absolutely. Um, I love anything burnt. The taste is... No, but um, tofu is burnt thing, I, I like that too. Yes. <laughs> Some things taste bitter. Yes. But uh, this is okay. It's it will balance. give you more crunchiness. Yes. So that's that, and now we can add the chili paste. Oh, okay. So now the blended chili paste goes in. So all of them you're adding in. Yes. Okay. It's not spicy. It's mild spicy. Uh, oh, you chi your chilies, chilies. are not so uh, spicy. This yes. Last. Okay. Um, I went to the Indian store and I got this. They had okay. um, mild chili. Are oh, you um, asked them for mild chili? Yes. So we need to cook this until you can see the oil is okay. separated. Yes, yes, because yes. that's how you know that the chili has been cooked. Yes. Um, and that goes very quickly. It looks like it's almost done. Yes. So you at this time, um, you can wait for like another two to three, three minutes mm -hmm. and then we will add the tomato. Okay. So once the tomato goes in, we can add the tofu okay. and salt to balance it and then a little bit of water um, just to make it a little, little bit gravy. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and put the, the tomatoes. tomato. Mm -hmm. And then we stir it gently. It's fine if you break the tomato. No, of course. <laughs> you want it broken, right? Yes. You don't add salt? I'm going to. This is when the salt comes in? Yep. So you just add salt to taste. Mm -hmm. So you're literally making a sauce. Yes. That's what we call sambal. Mm. <laughs> sambal is um, a spicy um, sauce. You can serve this with um, roti, dosa, mm -hmm. idli, um, even wrap with fry some eggs. Uh -huh. Put no, this on, yes. yes. Yeah. Or you can just put like tofu and then put in the wrap and wrap it. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, <laughs> yes, absolutely. So we're gonna add that, and then we're gonna stir, and then we we're gonna cook this for another five to six minutes. All right. So I can we move that along here so then you can do your next dish out there? For sure. Um, so the next dish is gonna be kale stir fry. Mm -hmm. So um, with coconut. So what I have here is some coconut mm -hmm. and then I have again powdered coconut, powdered basic coconut, coconut. Uh, oh but one can do fresh coconut if fresh coconut it, yes. definitely I have ginger garlic paste mm -hmm. I made this my own and then this is uh, cumin powder so when you say ginger garlic paste how much of ginger and how much of garlic so I put um, about 10 ginger uh, 10 garlic cloves ten. Oh, okay. and then um, five to six centimeter of um, ginger okay like an inch of ginger yeah so that and then I have uh, cumin powder mm -hmm. um, one tablespoon and then I have this is uh, Indian five spice mix. oh panchapuran yes okay so, so the difference in that one it has what you call nigella seeds or the yes. black seeds yes which actually improves the quality I mean the digestion. nutrition yes and good for digestion and then you have um, half a teaspoon of um, turmeric powder and this is um, Organic coconut, oh, coconut oil. Coconut oil. Yes. Okay. And then I have some fresh curry, leaf. curry leaves. Okay. I love curry leaf. And um, and this is kale. Kale. So we're doing a kale stir fry. Yes. So I have cut, like chopped, mm -hmm. washed, and drained. Right. So in goes the coconut oil. All right. And then now I can put some 
I can put all of it, which is like one teaspoon. Yes. So the different seeds in that one is a mustard, fennel, nigella seeds. Uh, fourth one is fennel. I'm sorry, fenugreek. Yeah. And the uh, fifth one is cumin. Yes. And then some curry leaf goes in. And we have half an onion, jillion. Stir in that. And mix. So in case you don't have the mix ready, like she brought it in again. And then now we can put the ginger garlic paste. Garlic is always good with the herbs, any yes. kind of herbs. Yes. You have to cook the ginger garlic paste for like a minute. Mm -hmm. Or until again, the, the smell, smell of the rawness is gone. Yes. Mm, the mixture of those smells are just amazing. I love the smell. Uh -huh. <laughs> Whenever I cook this, my entire house smells aromatic <laughs> with all the spices and and we're gonna go ahead and put the coconut. Okay. We so how many? About half a cup. This is half a cup. Okay. So for one bunch of kale, you put yes, half a cup. Half a cup. Of coconut. That will be fine. You want to um, r just light roast this coconut together with the spices and the onions. Right. Um, just to make more. So if you have fresh, flavor. Uh, fresh uh, coconut, you add it at the same time. Yes, too? correct. Okay. You just want to toast them just for a couple of minutes. Right, right, right. Um, so once this is done. So this is five minutes over. Do you think this is ready? Um, should be. You can just stir. And then that should be it. And you can actually toss, you can garnish with some oh, curry yes, leaves. curry leaves, yes, for sure. I like to break them. Mm -hmm. And Do you not put coriander seeds on uh, leaves? No. Cilantro? You don't it's an optional if you want to. And now I'm going to put the um, turmeric powder. Mm -hmm. The reason why I'm putting it now, because when I put the kale, it intends to be yes. overflow. So I like to put, and I want this um, turmeric powder to cook a little bit. And then I have the whole entire cumin powder. Oh, so that's ground cumin powder? Yes, okay. ground cumin powder. All right, now we have a challenge of how to fit that kale into that small pot. So I'm going to toss the mm -hmm. um, kale yeah. washed and chopped kale. The thing about uh, any greens, it, it, it um, comes down in size. Yes. So hence it will work. Maybe a heightened cut. Yes. Usually I'll put a cover. Yes, I mean we do have a cover, but it's uh, transfer this to a big and you know you can eat this just with rice. Mm -hmm. Just like that. The other day I was really hungry. The only thing that I had in my fridge was this. Mm -hmm. And I just ate this and I was fine. Yeah, it's like a hot salad, right? Yes. Warm it up. Or you can even eat cool. It's right. fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and Add put the salt. salts. So I'm gonna let it cook for like about five minutes. Mm -hmm. You don't want to overcook, overcook this. Thing, right? so you still want to have that crunch. And so let it cook for another five right. minutes and you should be good to go. So Gita, thank you so much for a really splendid Malaysian lunch today. Oh, it can be done eaten for dinner or yes. any time you please, correct? Yes, for sure. All right. So this is what you would call your appetizer. Yes, which uh, is roja bua, fruit salad. All right. And then this is your jira rice. Yes, cumin yeah. rice. Yeah, cumin and jira, <laughs> yes. Tofu. Yes, and tofu sambal. sambal. And um, the kale and coconut. The stir fry. Stir fry. And this is your... Uh, onde onde, which is the glutinous rice ball with oh, covered with right. uh, coconut. So you're going to show our audience how exactly you serve. You make the different... Um, so this is how you do your uh, appetizer. Yep. So this is for um, gluten-free um, guests. Um, if you allergic to peanuts mm -hmm. or any kind of nuts, right. you don't need to put the... Um, the sesame s seeds. Oh yes, if you if you are allergic to uh, sesame seeds or peanuts, you don't need to. But in this case, maybe you can do a little bit of yes. sesame seeds, just a little bit, just for garnish. Right, and then th that's the appetizer. And then you're going to be doing one with the uh, peanuts. Peanuts, yeah. So for those are allergic to peanuts, we're trying to do without it. And then for those who are not, there we have it right there. You okay. can serve this uh, appetizer cold or. Add it is mm -hmm. so I so you garnish with peanuts. Right. I like with lots of peanuts. Uh huh. 
because you want to bite into the crunchy right. peanuts. So. And then you're putting a little bit of sesame yes. seeds too, or not really? Yeah. So, and this just brings it a little bit uh, more nutritious with all the sesame yes. seeds and everything else. So that's that. And um, so we got our appetizers, and now we're going to go with, with our menu. Yes. Um, so, how? Which is rice. So, I'm going to serve the rice. In the middle, probably. Yes. In yeah. Malaysia, the mm -hmm. way we serve rice is mm -hmm. on the site. Oh, sorry, <laughs> you can do that. Do it as you do That's at home. It's fine. Do it as you do it at so home. So it, uh, because everybody doesn't want to mix everything. Yes. Right? So I'll just do it. And then this is the tofu sambal. Mm -hmm. So it's remembering this is tofu. Yes. So this is basically um, a vegan dish. Yes. Vegan, gluten-free, and everything with it. Yes. And then this is your um, kale. Where would with you like me to put it? Stir fry. Anywhere. Okay. Right there. Yes. Okay. Is that good enough? A uh, little bit more. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Okay. And there you and go. The, and that's your uh, main course. And then you do one or two? Um, two, please. Two. So we can, this is our dessert. All right. Dessert for the day. Dessert for the day. So this is now our, the way you would serve it, right? Yes. So. Let's do it this way. Appetizer here, main course there, and dessert right there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, so you want to tell us the name of the damn dishes once more? Yep. So this is uh, this is rojak bua, which mm. is fruit salad, mm -hmm. and I have um, rice with tofu sambal mm -hmm. and kale coconut stir fry, right. and onde onde, which is the glutinous rice ball dessert. All right. So with all this beautiful flavors and amalgamation of everything. Uh, different cuisines, different yes. cultures, and uh, you now brought a little bit of America to to Malaysia yes. in this little dish. Yes. Um, thank you so much for joining me. This is Gita, Jainti. Yes, <laughs> Jainti Larry, and uh, thank you for inviting me over. And it was really very grateful to be working with you, and uh, and presenting my country and the food um, that I cook daily at home. And this is a very nutritious meal. Yes, very much. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. And I'm your host, Hamsha Naidu. Thank you for being with us on Flavorful Eats. Till we meet again, take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you.